Are you wondering which window and orientation is the best one for your plants? This video is for you. Before we start, I wanted to let you know that this is part two of a series on natural light for plants. So if you would like to see all of the other episodes, make sure to check out this playlist right here. And now let's get to the video. In order to know which window and orientation is best for our plants, we need to consider the following very important factors. Number one, where are you located on this planet? This is very important because your experience with light and window orientation will be very different depending on whether you're located in the northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere. If you're located in the northern hemisphere, such as myself, south facing windows will be receiving the most amount of sunlight. And this, if you think about it, it makes sense because we're north to the equator and the sun is hitting directly closer to the equator so this will be relatively to our south on the contrary if you are located in the southern hemisphere the north facing windows will be receiving the most amount of sunlight another thing to consider is which season are you in this is very important because the intensity of the sunlight will actually diminish or increase depending on what season you're in and this is especially true if you live farther away from the equator for example here in Berlin in the summer we actually get very long days so we can have sunlight from 5 in the morning to 10 or 10 30 at night and the intensity of the sunlight can be very strong so my south facing windows will be getting lots of sunlight and this is something that I have to consider when it comes to my plants and the tolerance they have for direct light. Some of them may be very happy with 10 hours of direct light whereas others may only tolerate 1 to 2 hours. So in the summer I have to remember this in order to see where I'm going to place my plants and how close to place them to the window. In the winter in Berlin we get very little sunlight in terms of intensity and also how how many hours of sunlight we get. This is because the majority of days are very cloudy and they're very short. In this case, south facing windows may not receive as intense sunlight as in the summer. So then I can place more of my plants closer to the window. Number three, consider light obstructions. This may be trees right outside of your window, tall buildings where the sun may be hiding behind, or even sheer curtains. Understanding all of these factors will help you have a better idea of how how much light your plant can receive through the windows depending on orientation. But remember that light and plants is a very complex and frankly very interesting topic so I strongly recommend that you check out this playlist right here where I have other episodes about other factors related to natural light so you get a better understanding on this topic. But now let's get to the plants that I have in my windows. So in Berlin, north facing windows will get the least amount of light. But still, you can use these windows for plants that will tolerate the least amount of light. So this can be, for example, the tsetse plant, some calatheas, and other plants that are not happy with lots of intense sunlight. However, north facing windows are my least favorite window to place plants in front of because I know that they won't get so much light and therefore they won't grow as much or thrive as much. Now let's get to south facing windows. As I said, in the northern hemisphere, south facing windows will get the most light. This is true in terms of intensity as well as longevity. So the majority of our plants are actually in a room with a south facing window. Now depending on how many hours of intense direct sunlight your plant is gonna get, you may choose to place them closer to the window or a little bit farther to the window so they get some indirect sunlight but not direct intense sunlight. So during the summer, right in front of my south facing window, I tend to put plants like cacti or succulents like this one. So this is the bunny ears cactus. For some part of the year, I also place my African milk tree right in front of the window. So this is for example, during the fall, winter and spring. Maybe in the summer, I'm gonna put it a little bit farther away from the window because the leaves may get a little bit burnt with the direct sunlight. But the rest of the year, I like to put it right in front of the window and she seems to be happy there. If you don't get too intense light, you can also place some asparagus ferns there. All of your succulents, of course, so echeverias, the melon cactus, all of them really like direct intense sunlight. So they are very happy right in front of the window. As we get farther away from the window, you can also place some other plants that like bright sunlight but not direct intense sunlight for long periods of time. So making sure that they don't get intense direct sunlight for long periods of time 
You can also play some calathias in your room, just not right in front of the window. I also have some asparagus ferns here, but as you can see, the one right in front of the window is doing way better. Right now it's winter, so it's better for them to be really close to the window as we don't get so much sunlight. I also have all of my potos here, so I have the skindapsus here and the epiprenum, but they're not right in front of the window because I've noticed that they don't like so much direct sunlight for long periods of time. However, I have them in a room with a south facing window so they get bright indirect sunlight and they seem to be really happy here. They're growing really well, so yeah, I think that this is a good room for them. As you can see, I also have a set set plant here right in front of the window. As I said before, right now is winter here in Berlin, so we don't get so much intense direct sunlight. But maybe I'm gonna observe her in the summer because direct sunlight may be too much for her. So always observe your plant and if you see that your set set plant, for example, you have her right in front of a south facing window and the leaves are starting to burn, then all you have to do is move her a little bit farther away from the window and she will still receive the sunlight but it's not gonna be as strong as if she was right in front of the window. So again, seasons really do make a difference and it is always about observing your plants. East facing windows are really nice because your plant is gonna get that nice morning sunlight. As you know, the sun actually comes up in the morning from the east and it's not gonna be a very intense direct sunlight. So east facing windows tend to be really nice for plants that like bright sunlight but cannot tolerate a lot of intense direct sunlight. So you can put some calatheas here, tradescantias, you can put some, the, the effenbachias of course, the effenbachias really like sunlight but you wanna make sure that they don't get so much direct sunlight because they can burn. You can also have some strelitzias there but of course the strelitzia is also great for south facing windows as they really like direct sunlight they can actually tolerate it so this can also be a good plan for south facing windows or east facing windows philodendrons are very good there also alocasias alocasias are really great because they really like the sunlight but they're not gonna get burnt with very intense sunlight there so yes many plants will be very happy in an east facing window because you're providing that very nice light uh, and it's not too intense for your plants west facing windows on the other side will have that afternoon sunlight and this tends to be a little bit more intense than in the morning so in front of these windows you also want to put plants that are going to be happy with intense direct light for example strelitzias, succulents like aloes or uh, the bunny ears cactus of course you can also have euphorbias there they're going to appreciate the sunlight a lot because they really like direct intense light so these plants will also be very happy in front of that west facing window. Tradescantias of course and also the string of hearts. So west facing windows are very great for plants that really like intense, really bright sunlight. Now just as a summary, south facing windows will get the most amount of light, very bright, very intense for a longer period of time. West facing windows will also get lots of light in the afternoon, more intense. So this is also good for plants that are happy in the south facing windows, they will also be happy in the west facing windows. East facing windows will get more of the morning light so it's going to be very nice morning light, bright light but not too intense as in the south facing windows or in the west facing windows. And then north facing windows get the least amount of light. But in general I tend to avoid north facing windows. I rather use a window that is a little bit more bright. If you only have a north facing window not to worry you can still put some plants that are adaptable such as a set set plant. I would love to know where do you have your plants at home and how much light do they get so please make sure to comment below I can assure you the whole community will appreciate it and also your experience may be different to mine so maybe you may have other factors to consider when looking at our windows and where to place our plants and then we can help each other out so please comment below and I would love to read all of your comments and as always I will see you in the next one okay adios <laughs>